Dispatch. Who? Speed Morgan. Yes, he works here. He isn't here. I don't know where he is. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. I told you before, madam, I don't know where he is. This is the evening dispatch. Another call for Speed Morgan? How did you guess? I don't see why I don't have his personal calls transferred somewhere else, to his home if he's got one. Here I am, holding up the three o'clock edition for him. When he dashed out here this morning, he had a hot tip on Flash Barrett. Where do you suppose he is? Why, well, I suppose he's at the harbor, Mr. Jones. Oh, you do? <laughs> Never mind, you bandits. Wait a few minutes. I want you to take me back to the office. You can tell Flash Barrett he's carrying a gray overcoat on his arm. And make sure you don't miss him. All I want to do is get my lamps on him. Passed a couple mugs back there that look very familiar. Yeah? Got a hunch? Sure. <laughs> They're looking for me. I'll be ready for them. Here. Take this. Some of Mullins' mob are wise to the fact that we're meeting the steamer. You walk on ahead of me about six feet, and I'll follow. And keep your eyes open. I got you. me quick. I've got a cab out here. Come on. They got Joe Thomas. You think he's cold, Flash? Sure. Say, who are you? How do you know I'm Flash Barrett? You can't fool me. Juan? Frisco Eddie. You get me? Come on, let's spray him. Nice of you to step in the way you did for me at the docks. I won't forget it. Oh, that's okay. Maybe you do it for me sometime. Sure, if you ever get in a jam, look me up. Thanks. You never can tell when things will get hot for me. I'll be in suite 217 in the Doran building. So you're Frisco Eddie. <laughs> can you imagine that? I'll be looking for you, Frisco. All you gotta do is announce your name in my office and they'll show you right in. Thanks, Flash. 
you later. And not only that, this fella Barrett is smart. He's applied a new principle to an old racket. He's got everyone in the police force up in the air. Yeah? Well, what's the racket? He's a hijacker of precious stones. The ordinary safe cracker does the job. Cleans out a maiden lane vault or any of the big diamond merchants. Then he has the misfortune to be hijacked out of his night's work by Barrett and his gang. Well, if you know all this, why don't you take Barrett in and have done with it? That wouldn't do any good. Why, well, he doesn't keep the stuff a day. He ships it out of town so fast that we can't catch up with him. Hello, boss. Hi, Mac. How's the police force? Fine. Boy, have I got a story. Hmm. Boy, is it some story. Come on, babe. Get out there and let Papa get to work. Say! Haven't you got a machine of your own? Sure, but this one's handier. Boy, have I got a story. Joe Thomas, well known to police circles, has departed this world. Accident? Uh-huh. Police autopsy disclosed nine lead slugs in Joe's anatomy. Joe Thomas's sudden departure leaves a position open for some bright young man. Joe Thomas was Flash Barrett's bodyguard. That's your story. How did you know this? I was there. Speed Morgan on the job. I do work sometimes, whether you believe it or not. The boy does show a gleam of intelligence once in a while. You've given me the best idea I've had in a month. Speed, I know just the fellow to take Thomas's place. Sure. You. Oh, Mac, be yourself. Say, Flesh Barrett doesn't know you, does he? Not much. After the shooting, Barrett was looking for a place to hide. I put him in a cab and saved his neck. He wanted to know who I was, and the only name I could think of was Frisco Eddie. He thinks you're Frisco Eddie? Made to order. What are you driving at? Boy, you were elected. Say, do you think I'm crazy or something? I'm a reporter, not a copper. You'll do as Mac wants you to do, or I'll be getting a new boy. Well, ain't that something? Now, listen, Speed. This is all you've got to do. He's not in. Oh, yes. He'll see me, all right. I'm a friend of his. Just tell him Frisco Eddie. Oh. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Go right into his private office. Mr. Barrett won't be long. You're tough on Joe Thomas. Yeah, Joe was okay. He was quick with his gun and quick with his fists. I'm going to miss him a lot. Good guy. Anything for me? Nothing, Mr. Barrett. Sorry about Joe Thomas. So am I. Oh, Mr. Barrett, pardon me, there is something. Your pleasure? Buttermilk. Buttermilk? Yeah. Imagine a guy coming all the way up here to get a slug of buttermilk. <laughs> a wise guy keeps his mouth shut. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, the gentleman who's waiting inside just said his name was Frisco Eddie. Oh. You beat it downstairs and keep your eyes open in case any of the Mullins mob might show up. I'll greet him, all right. If you don't get away and quit annoying me, I'm going to help you out of this office. Well, any guy that drinks buttermilk makes me want to take a poke at him. Well, if you feel that way about it, go ahead and poke. Any time you make a reach for it, go it all the way or not at all. 
Sometimes when a guy drinks buttermilk, it makes you the goat. <laughs> That's a good one for you to remember, Dutch. How are you, Frisco? Fine play. I was just telling the boys about the nice turn you did for me, Frisco. <laughs> Forget it. Hey, did I get this right? Are you Frisco, Eddie? You called it, Dutch, and you came close to making yourself the goat. <laughs> Say, I want to have a chat with you, uh, Frisco. Whoops, just a minute. <laughs> Go ahead, shoot. Say, by the way, have you ever seen any of my clippings? No, I... You know, I probably get my name and picture in the paper more than any guy in the business. Frisco Eddie, always in the news. That's me. Well, you certainly keep before your public, Frisco. Huh. Huh. St. Louis. Frisco Eddie suspected in daring bank holdup. Toronto, Canada. Daring payroll robbery laid to Frisco Eddie. Well, you certainly cover a lot of territory. Sure. That's the secret of my success. Keep moving. I never stay in a spot long enough for them to put their finger on me. Well, this proves it. You're a regular traveling salesman. You ought to get a sideline. I'd be afraid to carry these if I were you. Nah, I believe in advertising. The cops ain't caught up with me, have they? No? Well, at least not recently. The pilot, this just came for you. Oh, thanks. I've got a proposition for you, Frisco. You're quick with your fists and quick with your gun. Which makes me what? My bodyguard, if you'll take it. Frisco Eddie, a bodyguard? Say. I don't mean it exactly that way. I need your help. I'm in a tough spot. Read that. Detroit, Michigan. Last shipment failed to reach me. Stop. What's wrong? Let's go, Frank. Well, what is wrong? I've been double-crossed by a guy I've used as a go-between. What's up? Oh, Miller out west failed to kick in with the last shipment. Why, the double-crossing sap. Yeah, that shipment means 90 grand to me, and no guy's going to get away with it. 90 grand's a lot of dough, Frisco. What do you say? You're in on the deal if you join me now. I'm in, Flash. But I don't wear your overcoat, wooden or woolen. <laughs> Get a couple of drawing rooms on the Western Limited for tonight. Okay, boss. I'll buy a drink. I'll drink it. Ever been out west, Frisco? Sure, I've worked all those states. What's your pleasure, gentlemen? I've got mine. A little rye. Say, Flash, have you ever tried buttermilk? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Anything you wanted, Lois? Any yeah, everything. Did you go to the express office? Yes. Yeah. Did you get the package you were expecting? Not yet. Bill, why are you always looking for these packages? 
What's in them? I told you a dozen times, it's just a little business I'm doing with a man. It doesn't mean anything. I guess it'll do. Say, what about that horse you were talking about? I got him over at the stable just around the corner. Okay. Well, we'll be down to look at him as soon as we get settled and get our clothes changed. All right. What's the matter, Bill? Why are you so nervous? Do you know those men? Why? Why, no. Don't worry about me, Smith. I'll be home in a little while. Not bad. That's good. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Can you uh, take care of us? I hey, so. Frisco. Christmas is here. Meet Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, don't get sore, don't get sore. <laughs> I only have two rooms that's open. Hope you gents don't mind doubling up. I guess you're all friends. <laughs> I guess we are, eh, Flash? Plenty. <laughs> Oh, up on the ninth floor, I'd like to take these flights. Need no elevator here. They got a wall. Need the exercise up. Pipe staircase. Oh, hello, Miller. Hello, Colonel. How are you? All right. I guess this room will be the best for three, gentlemen. Here you are, gents. Hey, I'm going to take this crib alone. Get over there. Oh, sleep by yourself. There you are, gents. If there's anything you want, just call on me. All right, thanks. Hello, Miller. Hello. Were you expecting someone? No. Some joint. Yeah. Paul, I guess we can stand it for the few days we'll be here. Something tells me that if we're wise, we'll change our clothes, make ourselves less conspicuous. I don't see any sense to that. Well, I do. Okay. I'll go and see how the boys are making out. Hey, come on, you birds. The sooner we locate Miller, the quicker we'll be out of here. And the quicker we're out of here, the happier I'll be.
Come on, come on. Aren't you ready? Yeah, yeah. Hurry up. Hey, uh, Frisco. Not a bad little bird, Flash. Reminds me of home. Yeah? Don't disappear again, Frisco. I feel better when you're around. Stick close to me. What have, gentlemen? A little fat corella or root beer? Uh, what else you got? Well, uh, just between us, uh... I'll take a little of the white. Buttermilk. Say, by any chance, do you happen to know uh, Bill Miller? Bill Miller? Why, sure, he's in here every day. Maybe he's in the back room there. I guess that was your man, all right, Flash. Yeah, the dirty double-crossing. Yeah. Hey, where can we get a car? There's several of them hanging around, usually one in front of the hotel. There is. Come on, you mugs. Say, you ready to look at that horse yet? Oh, a little later. We want to rent your car uh, for a little run uh, without you. How much will it cost? Be back in an hour or so. Maybe. Why, uh, how about uh, five? Uh... How do we get down to Bill Miller's place? Bill Miller? Right straight down the road. The first ranch to the left, and you can't miss it. Okay. what might happen. Someone's coming for you? Yeah, they'll be looking for me. You saw them, the ones that drove up in town. Oh, it's about those packages, isn't it? If anyone comes here looking for me, you haven't seen me. Do you understand? See how it looks. Okay. May I come in? Well, why ask me? You're in, aren't you? Well, pardon me for intruding, but uh, the gentlemen I'm with are looking for Bill Miller. Well? You're his wife? No. Oh, my mistake. Uh, well, perhaps you can tell me uh, where we can find him. Oh. These are the gentlemen who would uh, like to see Mr. Miller. What's the matter? Can't you make her talk? Sure. Sure she'll talk. 
We're looking for Miller. Bill Miller. That's what he said. I suppose you think you can bully me. Well, go ahead. Now, now, wait a minute. All I want to know is where to find Miller. You're his wife, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm his sister. I don't know where he is. I don't know anything. Maybe you don't, but I think you do. Come on, kick in. Where is he? Oh, you're hurting me. Getting kind of rough, Flash. Cut it out. Yeah? Since when do you tell me? I just soon tell you as anybody else. Now cut it out. Maybe you're right, Frisco. I'm sorry, Miss Miller. Let's go. Just a minute, and I'll get him. I'll take him, Jack. Uh, uh. Hey, I can't see no sense in buying a horse. What do we want a horse for? Why, to ride, you dummy. What do you think? Not me. I may be a dummy, but I still don't get the drift. Didn't you hear what Frisco and Flash was talking about? You can't trail Miller over those hills in an automobile, so Frisco's idea is that one of us puts on a trick outfit and rides a horse. Oh, I get it. There you are. Well, hello, partner. Who did you say was going to ride that horse? <laughs> You're not afraid of him, are you? No, no. You are. Nice old fella. Nice old fella. Boy, he sure some horse. Well, would you like to try him out? I wouldn't mind. He's all right if he don't get scared. <laughs> Well, I suppose he has his likes and dislikes. Yeah? Well, try and stick on him till you get to the hotel. Just leave that to me. Well, that horse is running away with him. Oh, I think he's running away with the horse. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Just wondering if I'd have to buy flowers for you. <laughs> you can save them. Okay. Would 
you see if this gets on the evening train? With pleasure, Miss Miller. Thank you. May I have the key to my room? It's already up there, sir. Well, how do you do, Miss Miller? If you'd give me a few minutes, I'd like to explain something. I don't think there's any explanation needed from you. Please, thank you. It's taken Frisco a long time to get the things he had to get. Yeah? Why worry about them? You bet. Well, boys, here I am, spurs and all. Well, you were gone long enough. What do you do? What's this for? <laughs> I thought this one would look funny with those clothes. I picked it up at a bargain. Oh, yeah? Well, hurry up and change. Give me a hand. You know, uh, the way I've got this thing figured out, you're going out to Miller's. And if he's there, bring him in with you. What if you don't want to come? Well, I think, uh, I think you can persuade him all right. Hurry it up, Frisco. I guess I got it. We'll be waiting downstairs. Is it okay to take a drink? Yeah, but keep sober. Let's go out. What do you say? Well, how do I look? Oh, you could pass for a cow hand any time. Thanks. But I don't think there's much money in it. <laughs> Well, should we go? Just a minute, Frisco. Let's figure out where we stand. Why, well, I thought that was arranged. Yeah. So did I. But a couple of things have just come up. What are they? Sit down. I want you to uh, write a telegram. Okay. City Editor, New York Dispatch. Fleish Barrett, well-known racketeer, that's me, loses second bodyguard within a month. That's you. Flowers were omitted. Now write it, and when you finish, I'll put the period to it. I don't get you. Well, maybe you can get this, you dirty double-crossing. Now I get it. Well, you think that I'm... Well, that's a good one. Imagine me, Frisco Eddie. Come on, Flash, be yourself. You don't get away with it. You're not Frisco Eddie, and that proves it. You're not getting out of here till I'm satisfied who you are. Now, keep your hands on the table. 
sure. If that's the way you feel about it. But if I'm not Frisco Eddie, I don't know who I am. Sure taking Flash and Frisco long enough. Yeah, I wonder what's holding them up. Come on, set them up. Same. Meet me outside. I'm going up and see what's keeping them. Come on, handsome. Take it easy, take it easy. Remember, you got high blood pressure. How do you do, Miss Miller? Has your brother shown up yet? I don't care to speak to you. Please, I know what you're thinking of. Birds of a feather flock together. I admit I wasn't with the best of company when I made you a call before, but I couldn't help it. Well, at least I owe you thanks for having helped me. Forget it. I don't belong with the crowd you saw me with. I was with them for a different purpose. You'll have to believe me. I want to get in touch with your brother. He is your brother, isn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's something. I want you to make it possible for me to talk with your brother. Because if I don't, he... What are you doing here? Ben, you're wrong. He's not with those men. He's here to get, do you a favor, to warn you. Look here, Miller. You're in a spot. You need a friend. Are you the friend? 
I'd like to be. I haven't any time to waste with you. Wait a minute. Do you know Flash Barrett? Do you know his business, his real business? What do you mean? Barrett's a racketeer. In big town language, he's a big shot. He plays the game only one way, his way. Do you know what happens to Welchers? Why, Bill never welched on anything in his life. I don't get you. No? Well, maybe you can understand this. You know, the last package that you got, it wasn't delivered as it was supposed to be. Barrett's here to find out what happened to that package. Maybe you can understand that. Yeah? If Barrett's got anything to say to me, why did he send you? He didn't. He tried to stop me from getting here. Well, I'm sending you right now off my property and stay off. And you can tell your friend Flash Barrett that goes for him, too. All right. If you've got that shipment, you better get rid of it before Barrett catches up with you. wasn't he? You are in on something. Yeah, but I didn't mean to get in on it. I met this fellow Barrett in Reno. He made me a proposition, said I could make some easy money. All I had to do was receive a package at the express office, keep it, till I received instructions to send it on to another place. What <laughs> kind of packages, Bill? What was in them? Well, I didn't pay much attention to them at first until I... until... Last month, this one came through, and somehow or other, I dropped it and broke the seal. I opened it up, and, and this is what I found. Diamonds. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Diamonds. But, Bill, they don't belong to you. You've got to give them back. Get rid of them. They don't belong to Barrett, either. He stole them. But Barrett's here to get them. If you don't give them back, he'll kill you. No, he won't. Oh, Bill, you'll give them back for me. Why? Why, yes. Yes, I'll do that for you. I'll, I'll give them back. into your head. If you don't care for yourself, give a thought to your sister. I know you got those diamonds, and if you don't give them back to Barrett, you're as good as dead. I don't want them. Well, then, if you don't want them, what do you want? I want your help.
Give the diamonds to Barrett and leave the rest to me. I can square things for you. And it'll save that nice little sister of yours a lot of grief. I've been a fool, I guess. We all have. Well, come on. the key to our room. Just a minute. Here's a telegram for that Eddie Johnson. Thanks. I'll give it to him. Hey! Flight. Get a load of this. Eddie Johnson. Good work, Speed. Stop. Holding front page for you. Stop. Mac on way. Signed, Jones. He will, will he? What do you know about that? Come on upstairs and I'll tell you. Headlines, all right. Plenty of them, but they won't be about me. Come in. You got me all wrong, Flash. And you've got him wrong, too. Maybe I was wrong about you, Frisco. And seeing Miller here kind of proves I was wrong about him, too. Give him the flash. Well, that's what you come out here to get. I guess they're all there. I haven't any alibi to offer. I just, just kind of slipped up a little bit. Are you satisfied? Okay, Miller, we'll call it quits. For you, forget it. So long. Glad you woke up. So long. Kind of fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> you certainly did. But you slipped up, Mr. Reporter. Your editor gave you away. What's the gag? For you, so you won't open that trap of yours. You're going for a ride, Frisco. You'd better tell us your real name so we'll know where to send the remains. You're going out of here with us. And if you make a move, 
between now and the time you got in the car downstairs, we'll pump you so full of lead that it'll take a week to count the slugs. Well, that's something. At least it ought to get a headline. It will. Come on. Frisco, <laughs> Eddie Johnson. We'll show you the scenery. Something's that reporter fella. They're taking me away in that car. You'd better get Sheriff Carter. And you've got to act quick, Sheriff. Hey, Dick, Frank. Any of them want to join us, get your horses. where you get yours. And when they pick you up, it will have been just one of those accidents. Come on, Frisco, move it. Go ahead. Keep marching. Well, Frisco, have you got any copy you'd like me to turn into your paper? Got anything to say? Yeah. Get that sign. Let me. She cold? She cold. Put him up here. Hurry up. I don't drag him out. So, you're looking for headlines, eh? Well, you're going to get them. Come on. Let's go. Come on, boys.
me. Where's the rest of them? You'll find them down below. What three Come on, left boys. Yeah, well, Flash, you almost rubbed me out. You're right. There will be headlines. But you were wrong about who's going to be there to read them. Well, it's agreed then that you'll take care of my horse till I get back. Yes, on one condition. What's that? That you'll explain to me how that horse knew you so well when you've only just come to town. <laughs> well, I'll let you in on a little secret. What? I was born and raised five miles from here, and I broke that horse. Oh, then you're not an Easterner? No. You're a Westerner. Ain't that something? Oh, I'll say it is. <laughs> <laughs>